Hey there, gang. Patrick King here with my good friend. Colton Woods. Colton. And Colton, where are we at? I, I Every time we do these videos, I forget the name of the farm here. You I bet. feel like a jerk. We're at Meta Haven Farms. It's home of Mallory Quarter Horses, and it's in Paris, Kentucky. There we go. Paris, Kentucky. Colton and I are teaching a ranch horsemanship, principles of ranch horsemanship clinic this weekend. We've got a group of riders. Uh, we've got a couple out here grazing. We're going to turn this around. They don't know that they're going to be live. But uh, there they are over there grazing their horses. And check it out, the camera lets you zoom in. That's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Okay, so now everybody watching probably thinks we're a bunch of real weirdos. Anyway, uh, so, so we've got a group of riders out here with us this weekend. They just all filed in for the clinic, found their stalls, and they're getting settled for the weekend. Uh, awesome enough our question for today is coming from Brenda Miller who you just saw with her buckskin horse over there on the other side of us grazing and it turns out this is the horse she's asking about so Brenda's question of the day is what different methods do you use to encourage forward movement in a young horse that's sticky under saddle. And Colton, you were just talking about one horse that you've got in that I actually know. He's a, a horse that I rode at a clinic in Wisconsin. He came down here to you for some training. And you sure. said he was um, a little bit sticky, uh, yeah, has absolutely. some impulsion issues also. So tell me what you were doing with that horse to work through the, uh, the you know, get some forward going in his feet. Yeah, you bet. Like when he showed up, he was really a reactionary. So he had a lot of impulsion, but it wasn't in some instances it wasn't good impulsion because mm. it was more moving out of i'm not sure about that rather than moving like okay we just need to get a little more we need to get our hind feet underneath us gotcha. and so then we went so we built that confidence in him whether it was through ditches or working cattle or going over bridges and stuff like that and then you started to notice he got a little lazy because he got really confident with it and we're like yeah you just need to be okay with this so he almost kind of got dulled up exactly as got exactly because okay. we were just like you know make making this really easy for him like hey you know you can think through this you don't have to react from it and so gotcha. then he kind of became a little quiet to the leg into the other aids into my seat and everything and so pretty much what we ended up doing with that horse was we give him the cue with our seat and ride him and then we used our legs as an aid and we did a lot of transition forward upward transitions Okay. And helping him to where, you know, do a halt to can or something like that and really rate the seat. And if he didn't, then I'd come in with my legs or come in with a uh, crop or something like that. You know, okay. if he just have a series of aids to really help that horse out because, mm -hmm. you know, if he didn't go off your legs, you had to have something to back it up. Yes. And, but the seat was always the first thing. Perfect. And then the, the legs were an aid rather than going to kick on him mm -hmm. and him. Not everything, everything, and now, you know, he really rates seat and canter and gallop, and then he can sit down, and he'll kind of come back to you a little bit. and gotcha. so Which but, is kind of what he wants to do anyway. Absolutely, right? yeah. Yep. He, yep. So you kind of reward that downward transition, but he's also got to still go forward. Absolutely. So, so your downward transition, then, is the paycheck or the bonus for the upward transition. Absolutely, yeah. Yep. So as soon as he gets forward, if he's pretty prompt about it, then we just let him, you know, we make that the good deal. Mm -hmm. And... We say, okay, good job. But if he doesn't, then we have to make that a little difficult for him because he's like, oh, I'll think about maybe tomorrow. And, and that's when you add the other aids, absolutely. right? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So. Awesome. Awesome. And that's something, you know, I, I love getting the chance to work with Colton and with, with all the other uh, horsemen and horse professionals that we talk with because it's neat to see kind of the variance sometimes in the techniques that we use and the ideas that we have. Um, and Colton and I just feel like, you know, we have a lot of ideas that are very similar. So I really love the way Colton was talking about not just banging on him with your legs all the time. That's something that we see all the time, I'm sure you see it, uh, as much as I do. As a clinician, I see riders begging and pleading and squeezing. It's like they're trying to squeeze the, you know, the toothpaste out of a tube or something <laughs> with their legs, you know. Um, I have a friend in Canada actually gave me this hat, Ian Tipton. We're putting a shout out to Tipton Horsemanship here. Um, but he, he says in this funny little high-pitched German accent, squeeze him till he poops. If he's not pooping, <laughs> you're not squeezing enough, you know. And of course, it's just a joke, right? Um, but you see a lot of riders mm. that just want to add more leg and add more Absolutely. leg and add more leg. And the trouble with that is as you add more leg and the horse doesn't respond, that's kind of the definition of desensitizing, Absolutely. isn't it, right? So we teach our horses to become more dull to our leg by adding more, adding more, adding more, and not following through. So a line that I kind of use all the time at my clinics is, the leg is a request, 
anything else should be a reinforcement to the request. So, you know, I'm kind of a dressage queen, so I ride with a dressage whip, or we might have, you know, you might have the coils of your last rope, yeah. we might have a quirt, the end of the makate, um, anything like that. But the leg is a request. The additional aids are a reinforcement to the request. So we're basically saying to our horse, if you move off when I do this, which is the leg aid, yeah. then you can teach me not to do this, which is tapping with the whip or, you know, anything else, whatever that additional aid is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of how I go. And, and I've rode some horses, we've got to have a, a flag handy mm -hmm. or something like that, you know. Um, a jacket. I used a jacket once, you know, on a horse that was just really dull and we had to, I, I hate to say, we had to almost kind of scare him forward because he'd been so dulled up mm. to the leg by somebody trying to squeeze and kick and beg and plead and squeeze and kick and beg and plead right. that he was taught that the legs don't mean anything. And so, you know, sometimes we get in a situation where we have to really think outside of the box or think outside of the arena uh to to get something better going with the horses which is another point that i like to mention a lot of times if you have a horse that's sticky in the arena just get the heck outside right give them some place to go you know give them some place to go uh most horses will open up and become more energized more active that way um uh, and then, you know, spend a few days, a few weeks, a few whatever, uh, outside of the arena, you get back into the arena most of the time, almost mm. always the, in the ones I've ridden, uh, they have a little bit more kind of pep in the step, yep. a little more energy as they go. So, yeah. 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 So, all right. Well, hopefully uh, that was helpful to Brenda, who's watching on screen and listening behind <laughs> the camera here, which is... I don't know, weirding me out a little bit. I feel like strange. I'm being watched, right? You feel like that? <laughs> yeah, you know, absolutely. Being watched. <laughs> anyway, uh, so hopefully that was helpful. If you guys have a horse that's lazy to the leg and you found this advice helpful, please share this video. If you have a friend who maybe is going through a similar situation, please tag them in the comment section below this video or share it directly with them as well. Uh, let's see. Question of the day. We always do a question of the day. Colton, you know this because you were stuck with me um, asking you or making you do it before. You, bet. you know how it works. So what's our question of the day? I should have saw this coming. I know, right? All right. Um, let's see. What's something that you guys have on your bucket list with your horses that you'd like to go do? We've got a couple people here that are dressage people and they enjoy that kind of thing and they're getting out to join us this weekend to do a little ranch riding and cow working. So Play what's, cows. Yeah, yeah, so what's something that's on your guys' list that you'd like to do that maybe your horse wasn't maybe bred for or something like that or that's just something that you want to try and get out to do something with your horse. So what's something different you guys want to try with your horses this year? And so put them in the comments below and be sure to tag a friend and make sure they hold you accountable to it and hopefully we can see you guys get those dreams accomplished. That's awesome. See, I thought I was going to stump him. And that's like, if you guys have been following this talking about horses stuff that we've been doing, that's probably the best question of the day. I think, anyway, it's the best question wow. of the day we've had on these. So, you know, 100 videos in and you rocked it. All right. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Again, leave your answers to Colton's question of the day in the comment section below this video. And, uh, you know, Colton and I are going to be here for the next couple days, so you can expect quite a bit of live video footage. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, gang, you send in your questions. We'll keep answering them. Yeah, that's right. We'll keep talking about <laughs> horses. <laughs> thanks so much, gang.